And so joining me now for a look at how successful the week was is Bill Street, Global Co-Head of Acted Fixed Income at State Street Global Advisors. Bill, thanks so much for coming in. So your assessment of the week so far? I think it's been a, pr a pretty good week for the peripheral debt. I think uh, <clears throat> the debt's been managed pretty well. Mm -hmm. The sales, the auctions, uh, there was sort of front-running buying by the central banks and there's obviously had China in town and we had some statements out of uh, Japan about supporting the uh, peripheral debt or at least the debt coming out of the ESF. So I think that, that was very managed auction. So, um, Going forward, we'll have to see how the peripherals um, respond. Um, and I think this, this could be an inflection point, but um, broadly speaking, these uh, spreads have mm. to look at the context of where Germany has been going and the uh, euro itself. And that's the problem, isn't it, mm. that you know, a lot of analysts, investors, you know, these concerns go on despite the fact that the auctions went off very nicely. It's the mm -hmm. sustainability of the prices. Yeah, I mean, the ultimately, thing. Yeah, ultimately what these auctions do, they address liquidity but not solvency. And uh, the question still out there is ultimately there's a, there's a lot of volatility that spreads and this mm. will help uh, suppress that volatility. But we really still need to address the fundamental point of solvency and the uh, single European currency which uh, is incredibly overvalued for the peripherals. Um, the peripherals could be doing with a much lower currency to uh, enable the flexibility of growth going forward. So what do you make of these comments by the IMF, sending the euro lower? Um, yeah, it's again, it, it talks about going forward on the solvency rather than the actual liquidity of the marketplace. You, um, studies have shown and research we've done is that Basically, so, uh, a country like Spain could really be doing with the euro close to about 110, 115. We're having a euro uh, last trading of about 133. Mm. Um, that in itself is fairly cheap uh, for Germany. So we have to look at how the flexibility of the exchange rate is actually uh, impairing the peripherals, not only uh, providing a, a boost and potential inflationary stimulus to Germany. Do you see more pressure on the euro looking forward? Where are we going to be in three months' time, six months' time? Yeah, it's difficult to see the euro to sustain this five-day uh, rally, especially against crosses like the dollar. Um, and, and ultimately, we have to see how... Um, I mean, the ECB, some of the ECB's comments yesterday with regards mm. to interest rates and the way the auctions have gone have given a temporary boost to the euro, but we don't see that being sustainable. But we could now see a hike this year, towards the end of this year, as opposed to next year. Well, if we do see a hike, it's going to be uh, uh, an interesting development because that will only create volatility in the peripherals again. And the, the hike is, uh, well, the rhetoric around the hike is basically the ECB trying to maintain a uh, stance that they have policy flexibility and not being in a policy straitjacket by, driven by some of these sort of uh, non-conventional measures that have been putting in place so far. So they want to maintain this monetary flexibility. The reality is if they do start hiking interest rates in 2011, you'll see a lot more concerns of volatility coming back into the peripheral spreads. It's not good for the Spanish housing market and it's not good for um, growth in the peripheral areas. Again, it comes back to addressing the solvency rather than just pure liquidity challenges. Thanks very much for wrapping all those issues up for us. Bill Street, Global Co-Head of Active Fixed Income at State Street Global Advisors. Thank you.